Welcome to the GFSM e-learning series. In this episode, I'm introducing you to the IMF standard for government finance statistics. GFSM refers to the Government Finance Statistics Manual. It is an international standard that provides concepts, classifications and definitions that help compilers prepare and report fiscal statistics so that they are fit to use for policy analysis. More than 140 countries around the world are currently using GFSM. It is thus widely accepted as a basis through which fiscal statistics are comparable over time and across countries. You may ask, why is there a need for an international standard in the area of fiscal statistics? Governments are operating in an ever more complex environment. Governments increasingly operate in global markets. They have to present their operations in an internationally comparable format, much like the private sector. Fiscal analysis is indispensable to meet the increased demands from the public for accountability and transparency. Comprehensive, well-structured and timely data allow policymakers to make sound decisions and monitor implementation. Fiscal statistics are essential to see the whole picture, as well as the important details. How can we produce statistics that are reliable and fit to use? The process of compiling sound fiscal statistics is not something to be taken for granted. Compilers face a number of challenges along the way. Let me tell you about these challenges and how GFSM offers a coherent and comprehensive framework to master them. The first challenge is coverage. We need to decide which units form the government, or more precisely, the general government and the public sector. Where should we draw the line between general government and the rest of the economy, or between the public and the private sector? You may think that shouldn't be so hard. You take the budget, the departments, the ministries, add the subnational governments, and you're done. But in practice, there are typically many other units to consider. Just think of public-private partnerships, the public railways, restructuring agencies, universities, the local waste removal company, to name just a few. Often, there are many, many more such units, sometimes tens of thousands within a single country. All of these units will need to be examined. Determining the sector a unit belongs to is a challenge. This is not always obvious, yet the decisions can, and often do, have a material impact on the key fiscal measures, such as the fiscal balance or government debt. The GFSM provides clear concepts to delineate the general government and public sector, and gives guidance on many borderline cases encountered in practice. All relevant fiscal entities in a country should be captured and data can be compared across countries, irrespective of legal or institutional setups. The next challenge is comprehensiveness. Comprehensiveness means that fiscal statistics should cover all aspects relevant to fiscal policy. Fiscal policy measures have complex and multiple effects. Just think of major infrastructure projects, which can involve numerous transactions, many counterparties, and last over long time periods. Accounting needs to properly reflect economic reality. GFSM provides a framework that captures complex transactions, that shows links between stocks and flows, and that records events consistently over time. The third challenge is classification. To facilitate sound economic analysis, we need to be sure that we're not comparing apples and oranges. Or rather, that we separate capital grants from financial investments, sales revenues from taxes, tax breaks from subsidies. National data sources are often set up for specific reporting or management purposes. Thus, national terminology may not be in line with standard concepts. This can make it difficult to correctly classify fiscal events. With a systematic classification as well as guiding principles, fiscal statistics present data according to their inherent economic substance. The GFSM offers a fully articulated classification tree for all stocks and flows. It delivers the concepts for the application and guidance for treating borderline cases. And finally, the challenge of consistency. Government finance statistics is not a world of its own. It is directly related to other macroeconomic statistics and even financial accounting. Often data from two or more sources are combined for analytical purposes. Just think of the fiscal balance as a percent of GDP. There are also direct data links. Government consumption is, for instance, a main input for GDP calculation in the national accounts. Government debt data, highly relevant for GFS, is linked to the external accounts and monetary statistics. Consistent definitions and concepts make comparisons meaningful and sound. GFSM forms a key pillar within the architecture of international economic statistical standards and is fully integrated with other major standards, 
such as the System of National Accounts, Balance of Payments and International Investments Position Manual, and the Monetary and Financial Statistics Manual. Furthermore, one of the strengths of the GFSM is that it is broadly linked with the international public sector accounting standards and its concepts. Let's summarize. GFSM is well prepared to master the challenges of compiling and reporting fiscal statistics. By applying GFSM, you have the best chances that all relevant fiscal activity within a country is captured, that all the bits and pieces of information for sound fiscal analysis are accounted for, that the economic substance of the underlying data is correctly reflected and statistics can be compared over time between countries, and that the data can be related to other macroeconomic indicators. Altogether, GFSM is an international standard that is designed to form the basis for compiling fiscal statistics in a reliable and transparent manner. This in turn supports fiscal analysis and policy decision making. The implementation of the manual requires some investments and commitments by the countries. But the benefits a country gets from sound government policies based on high quality data compensate that investment and commitment. The rewards of meeting these challenges is that you can produce internationally comparable and reliable statistics. This e-learning series will introduce you to the main concepts of GFSM and how the framework can be used for fiscal analysis and decision making.